Hello! Now it's time for some Matplotlib exercises. They are quite simple exercises. It's quite fast to do it. So let's start it. We are going to import np. These are going to be our like data. Let's call it that. So x, y, and we also have z. Okay. Import Matplotlib. Okay. Import mat plot as plt. We don't actually need this. I think it changed with time because every plot that I do it uh, shows like perfectly. And what command do you use if you aren't using the Jupyter Notebook? He's I think he's referring to plt dot show. In case you are not in Jupyter Notebook, I think you ca you have to to type this to show the plot and if you are in Jupyter Notebook and you have an old version maybe or an old version of Matplotlib then I think you have to use this command as well this whole command here so that your plot shows shows up without you having to type this but that's not our case we can just type our plot and we don't need any of those codes but we do need the library okay Follow along with these steps. So uh, create a figure, uh, figure object called fig. Okay, fig equals plt dot figure like this. Use an axis to add an axis to the figure canvas at that position. Call this axis x. So x equals equals fig dot. Mm, at axis at that position. I don't remember, I think this is left. This is this is either left or bottom and this is either left or bottom, then this is width and and height. Yeah. Which is one one. That's it. Yeah. So just just to be sure, I think this one is the bottom so yeah. Ah, it doesn't change here. I think it's because we haven't plotted anything. Oh, it's just one graph. If we had another one, then maybe he would uh, move upwards or in inwards or whatever. Okay, just to make it clear, I have this in here in my my cheat sheet. Yeah, my cheat sheet says it's left, bottom, width and height mm -hmm. and it's based on percentage okay anyway so he's saying to plot x and y so x dot plot x and y and let's see yeah and set the labels and titles to match the plot below this plot here so how do we do that we do like this set title call it title X dot set set x label as x and x dot set y label as y. Yes. Okay. Next, create a figure object and put two axes. Mm -hmm. on it, located it, oh yeah, so here you can see that 0 0.2 is left, so it is 0 0.2 to the left of the origin, and 0 0.5 above the origin, and 2 and 2 is the, the size, so it's 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and this one's 1, 1, okay. So let's do it, create a figure object, okay, Oh, it's plt dot figure. Then put two axes on it, and to do that, we call create. Let's call it x one. It's going to be fig dot at axis, and we pass that list. Okay, and the second that at axis. And we also pass that list. 
good. It's different because I think it has an older version, but it's supposed to be the same. Okay, now plot x and y and y on both axes and call your figure object to show it. We don't need to call it because I think we have a newer version, more updated one. So let's plot it anyway. X one dot plot x and y. We also have this one. X two dot plot uh, x and y. Okay, let's see, yeah, same thing. Create a plot below by adding two axes to a figure object at that and that. Okay, okay, the same thing that we, as we did before, right? Fig is equal to plt dot figure. Then x one equals fig dot add axis um, at zero zero one one. And x two equals fig dot add axis at 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. See? Okay. More things here below. I'm not sure why there are two plots here. I think it was supposed to be only one. Because he doesn't mention anything about uh, duplicate plots here. Okay, so. Now use x, y, and z arrays to recreate the plot below. So we have to copy this because if we reference uh, this axis down here, uh, the plot doesn't show up. It has to be all in the same cell, as he mentions here at the beginning. Note all the commands for plotting at the dam. Separating into multiple cells may cause nothing to show up. So we are going to stick with the uh, the same cell. Let's continue. Now use x, y, and z arrays to recreate the plot below. Notice the x limits and y limits. So he's referring to x, y, z. So x, y, z, x. So we have to plot accordingly. And x limits and y limits referring to the y limit in here and the x limit here. Here there is no limit apparently. Okay, so x this one is the big one and it's going to be plotting x and z so yeah x and z so it's x and z let's see did i type did i get this size right yeah i did okay okay and the other one is y, uh, yes, x, y, so plot x and y. Oh, I plotted z. No, that's my bad. I plotted y, actually. It's supposed to be z, so let's see. Yeah, so it's the same plot here, 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 and here. And here is difference beca uh, different because we haven't uh, set the limits yet. So it's going from 0 to 100, and here it's going to 20 to 22. Same as here, it's going to 0 to 200, and here's 30 to 50. So let's set the limit. To do that, we are going to do that on the second plot. And to do that, we call, I think it's set x lim. I think it's that, let's try. And the x limit is ranging from 20 to 22, so it's like 20 to 22, let's see. It works, 20 to 22. And we also have to set the y limit to range from 30 to 50. 30 to 50, let's see. It works. Okay, anything else? I think, I think we have the same graph now. Okay, let's keep going use subplots to create the plot below. Okay, so fig it returns a tuple and returns a, f a figure and a set of axes, a list of axes we can access and we need to call uh, plt sub dot subplots the number of rows is equal to one, number of columns is equal to two. Let's see. Okay. And now let's grab it. 
Now plot x, y in x, z on the axis, play around. Okay, so we have to create this plot. Somehow, we do... So we first, let's start by plotting. So axis, we are getting the first axis, because you see, axis has this format. It has two, uh, a axis in the first index, and the second axis in the second index, and it has size of 2. So I have two axes there. Okay. Axis 0, it's just this one here, uh, it's going to be plotting x and y. Okay, let me just check if this... Yeah, so we have to put everything in the same cell, otherwise it doesn't plot. Okay, let's plot the second axis. Axis 1 is going to be plot of x and z. x and z. Okay, it looks the same, so let's change the colors now. Colors are here. We call color and we set it looks like blue. And this one looks like red. Let's see. Okay. We can also change now the line width width, I don't know how to pronounce that, line width, set to something bigger, like 3 maybe, yeah maybe 3, and the line style is, I think it's this one, I think it's not the same thing because he, the, his is older, because there's no other way to do that I believe, like you can do some other things here, but, oops, nothing will be the same as his. Oh, this is not a sign, maybe this is one. This is not a style too. This is a style for sure. This is a style. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. This is a style. This is a style. It's not the same thing, so I think the closest one is this one. So let's stick with that. And let's change the second panel. Line width. Whoops. Width. Is equal to maybe it's the same, a little bit bigger. No, too big. So same thing. Okay. Similar enough. Oh, and it, is, it doesn't have a d different style. Okay, what's next? Okay, so we are going to resize it. See if you can resize the plot by adding fixed size and copy and paste your previous code. So the, the, we have our previous code here already and fixed size is going to be something like the width is maybe 12 and the height is around 2 or 3. I think I think we have it. Oh, but oh, his has um, names on the axis. Ours don't. So let's change that. Let's call dot set. How is it called? It's at x label, and we are going to pass x and x is zero dot set. Y label is Y. Y. Same below. But now it's X, Z. X, Z. Let's see. X, Z, X, Z, X, Y. Okay. And that's it. It's a quite, quite small exercise, quite easy. Maybe I, 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 like I did this before, and I did this also like two years ago, so maybe I remember, remember some things. And I'm more, much more used to Python than I was before, and to everything, actually. So uh, let me try to, to type plt.show to check if it changes something. Yeah, so it doesn't appear out anymore as before, and we don't have this output here. Okay, that's the difference. 
but I wonder if we use that thing that he mentioned at the beginning, which is this set matplotlib inline. Is that how you do it? Maybe you don't need a set. Yeah. Let's see. let's see if that changes anything. It doesn't change anything. So I think it's an uh, actually it's really a older version that needed that. It doesn't need that anymore. Let's see if that changes somehow the show. It doesn't. So yeah, it doesn't make any difference anymore. I think in the past Oops, oops, oops. You had to do this, but now it's by default already with that. Maybe when when you import the library or something, I don't know. Maybe it is inside the the, the object that you created. Well, somehow you don't need this anymore. Let's erase that. And yep, that's it. That's about it for the matplotlib exercises.